Eric Gordon has been freed. Freedom for Eric Gordon. Wow. I, I never thought it would happen. I thought he would be a rocket until the day I died. But no, Eric Gordon is going to put on a familiar uniform. He's going to wear the Clippers uniform, uh, along with three seconds going to the Clippers. It's a three-team deal. Memphis gets Luke Kennard, which I, I like that for Memphis. I think he can really help them. And then the Rockets are involved here. They get they get John Wall back, who will likely just be waived. Danny Green, who will also likely be waived and be a buyout market darling. And then they get swap rights with the Bucks and Clippers pick this year as part of the deal. Dave DeFore, tell me what matters. What matters about this deal? Well, the most important part of this deal to me is that Danny Green is going <laughs> to be the biggest buyout candidate on the market. He is going to be the guy who gets to pick and choose where he goes and maybe even pick and choose the next NBA champion. Hey, you know, Luke Kennard <laughs> to Memphis is kind of great, man. They could use the extra shooting. He's actually a yeah. pretty talented guy uh, in a pick and roll. Um, they didn't no use doubt. him much doing that in, in LA. Um, he's a nice fit and, and they've got him under, under team control on a pretty good deal for the next few seasons. That's a good win now move, but also a forward thinking move. He's a pretty young guy. And, and I think he's going to slide in nicely with what they're doing. Eric Gordon going to the Clippers doesn't really make much sense to me. I'm lost on that part of this deal. <sighs> I think yeah. Kennard is a better player and, and also just his shooting would slot in better, uh, with what the Clippers are doing than I think Eric Gordon would. Uh, will do but um, you know he's a player that's well respected and he can shoot deep Um, so we'll see maybe his maybe he becomes more of a a deadly spot up guy playing around Kawhi and Paul George Um, and then you know they picked up Bones Highland which makes this even more confusing to me getting Mm -hmm. Eric Gordon because now you got you brought in a couple more small guards Um, I'm not sure it helps I'm not sure it helps the Clippers all that much like they're they're not that even that much different I don't no. think from what they had been. Uh, Eric Gordon's uh has been a worse shooter this year than Kennard. Kennard's shooting almost 45% from three on volume. And Eric Gordon is 34.7% on decent volume. Now he's a veteran. He's been around a long time, but I mean, at this point, Kennard's a veteran. So I'm, I'm not sure I get this. They do get the three additional second round picks, which is probably part of why they did this deal. Mm -hmm. Uh, They do get rid of John Wall, which is part of why they did this deal as well. So they can bring in Russell Westbrook and Eric Gordon. And I don't know, man. I'm not sure how much better the Clippers are today. They're definitely different, but I'm not sure that they're better. Memphis, however, Danny Green has not been in the rotation for much of the year. He's not a guy. I'm not sure how much of an impact he would have made come playoff time for them. And so getting just a lights out shooter next to their young trio, I think is great. Like you can never have enough shooting. I think it helps them in the regular season. Their half court offense is so bad that just adding one more shooter might help them out a little bit more. Just having a release valve that teams will care about. Like teams will have to sell out to get to Luke Kennard in Memphis. And so I like that just for that, for that piece alone. Yeah, it helps him a lot, especially when in those non Desmond Bain minutes, you need a guy who can handle and shoot. And and I think that this gives him some more flexibility there. I actually can see them, you know, with running Bain and Kennard together quite often in bench units. I mean, that's quite a bit of shooting. And, you know, both of those guys can handle the ball. Uh, Obviously, Bain's a little bit better, but Kennard can can get you into your offense. And and again, his shooting relocation coming off screens, he's going to be something that they haven't had, uh, which is sort of that you know, fourth or fifth guy on the court who can still get, you know, put the ball in the basket. Zaire Williams obviously has struggled a lot shooting the ball this year. So I I think we'll probably see Kennard steal some minutes from him. Kennard's a really good player and he he's been overlooked for the most part in his career. and, And, but quietly has been one of the best shooters in the NBA the last few years. So this is a big move for Memphis actually. Yeah. When you look at like three point attempts and three point makes, Memphis is just a they're they're behind the eight ball right now. They're 20th in the league and three pointers made per game. If you if you want to win at a high level, you've you've got to increase that. Like you don't have to be, you know, up where the Warriors are at 16 makes a game, but like get me to get me to where the Pacers are at 13 a game. 
you know, it's it's unlike it's it hasn't happened a lot, especially lately with the Grizzlies, where they've made more threes than their opponent. And that from a night to night perspective is going to help them just adding somebody that's going to shoot a ton of threes when he's open, it's going up. Like that's what you know about Luke Kennard. And so bringing that guy in, I think will will help them tremendously. Now playoff time. It's hard to say because he's, he's somebody it's then, then it's all about who can we target? Where's the weak link? And like Kennard, can he hold up for at least like 15 minutes a night in the playoffs? I, think- I will say this. The nice thing is you've got Jaron Jackson Jr. to make up for all it of helps. the mistakes. And so it allows you help. quite a bit of flexibility. Um, as yeah, much as I hate true. to see the Grizzlies move on from Danny Green, because I do think I, – I, I don't know if he was going to necessarily win games for them in the playoffs, but he would have been a good rotation guy for them in the playoffs because yeah. you know what you're going to get. Kennard, pretty good. Um, yeah. This is not like some some drastic step back. He's not the defender that Danny Green is uh, as far as uh, IQ goes, but he's a better athlete right now. And so that mm-hmm. might make up for some of the uh, the the other stuff. But uh, I think Kennard, man, this is a good addition for Memphis. And a lot of people feel like Memphis is going to come out of the West uh, pre Kevin Durant trade. Sure. This helps them quite a bit. Yeah. They can battle now. Yeah. You look at the Memphis roster. They have one guy shooting over 40%, one guy shooting over 38% from three and it's Desmond Bain. Then you go to Tyus Jones, who's at 37, Danny green, who's now gone was at 37. You got Santi Aldama at 36, John Contra at 36, Sharon Jackson at 35%. Like they just don't have enough shooting. Mm-hmm. And so for that reason alone, I really like this for the Rockets. You know what? You did something. You got your name in the news today. Congratulations, <laughs> Rockets. You were a dumping ground for contracts. Poor John Wall had to see his name and Rockets in the same sentence. One last time. One last time. Poor John Wall. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Let us know. What do you guys think of the deal? Let us know in the comments below and say locked in to the athletic.